Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Today I'd like to talk about dividend payments with regards to how dividends are paid to investors. This has come up a couple times in the comment threads asking when exactly will I get a dividend for a particular stock. So I thought I'd kind of go through some of the more important dates with regards to dividends. I have put out a few videos about this in the past. Check those out, but I'll do a little bit of an updated video now for you guys since this, like I said, has popped up so many times in the comment threads. You can see here I have my dividend history pulled up here, pending dividends on the top here. You can see on the left there, company name as well as date. And if I open up one of these particular dividends, you can see the amount per share that has been uh, declared for each uh, share held for this particular company. So that's the first date is the declaration date. Basically a company saying how much the dividend will be for the share and also what the frequency of the dividend will be, whether that's a monthly or a quarterly dividend. And sometimes there's a special dividend as well, a special one-time, usually large payment per year given out by a company for a very uh, a variety of different reasons. There's a, a number of uh, different times companies will do this. A lot of companies will do those uh, special dividends at the end of the year. Other companies will do it after special earnings reports, so on and so forth. I put out a couple of videos about that as well, uh, entitled Special Dividend. So, the first date there is declaration. After that, there's the ex-dividend and record date. The record date is the date on which you need to be listed as the shareholder to qualify for the dividend. And typically that is uh, two days after an ex-dividend date. So that's really the date that you have to take into consideration when buying and selling stocks. So each stock will have an ex-dividend date. You can Google uh, the date. You can open up uh, E-Trade or TD Ameritrade. They have a very good way of taking a look at when these ex-dividend dates will occur. And they occur at different times for different companies. Um, if you have the stock on the opening bell of the ex-dividend date, so you basically have to buy it a day prior. It doesn't matter if it was a day, a week, a month prior. You simply have to have it held on the opening bell of the ex-dividend date. And then any stocks that are sold or bought on that ex-dividend date, the dividend still goes to the shareholder that had held it the day prior or when the opening bell happens, whoever has held that stock in their name basically gets that dividend. So uh, you qualify for the dividend, like I said, off the ex-dividend date. Typically, that's two days before the record date, and that's really when the uh, date happens for uh, companies uh, to know who qualifies for the uh, dividend date. But it really doesn't make any difference to the investor. They simply have to hold the day prior on the opening bell of the ex-dividend date. And you can sell off on the ex-dividend date, and you still qualify for that dividend. And then after you qualify for that, there will be a payment date. And you can see here, I have a lot of pending dividends on the left. You can see a date as well. That's essentially when the dividend will be paid. So up top there, up IBM, IBM excuse me, June 10th, it'll pay $1.50. So I have one share of that, it'll pay $1.50. We go down a bit here. One of my larger dividends is from Ford here. You can see I have 2,279 shares at 0.15 per share. So I'll get a dividend of $341.85. Again, taking a look at the uh, stock there on June 1st. That's basically the payment date. Uh, so the ex-dividend date and record dates have already passed. I've qualified for that dividend. It'll show up here in Robinhood. And then on the bottom here, you can see dividends have been paid within the last 30 days. And you can see all these are dividends that have been credited, credited to my account. So once the uh, uh, payment date uh, comes, uh, comes up, you basically will see... Uh, credit to your account at the end of the day on that uh, payment date. So ABBV there, Avi Incorporated paid out on May 15th. You won't see that at the beginning of the day, but at the end of trading, you'll see a $19.84 credit. And the other key important part too is the pending dividends here uh, after the ex-dividend date, after the record date, these still take some time to pop up. So you'll still be qualified for the dividend even though it doesn't initially pop up right away on this particular chart here. So. Hope that makes uh, sense. I hope that gave some clarity with regards to when dividends are paid out. Uh, four different dates there. I have put out, like I said, a couple other videos about this as well, taking particular stocks and uh, taking a look at all their different dates, ex-dividend date, record date, payment date, and when the uh, dividend was declared. So hope that makes sense. If there's any questions, let me know. And kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any good video ideas, let me know as well. Always looking for new things to read up on. And until next video, we'll see you then.